Hello everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at the Mavic Mini Fly More Combo. Now I'm not going to unbox all this stuff, you know, bore you to tears taking all this stuff out of packaging. So uh, we're not going to go that route, but <clears throat> this is the box that the Fly More Combo comes in. Here's the case that the uh, quadcopter and uh, controller and all that come in this is nice because you can take off with this you know there's the quadcopter itself now i said <clears throat> on i think i told john cuppy i said i i said this thing is going to have to feel cheap there's no way they could bring it under this limit and it not feel cheap and for the most part it doesn't feel cheap the only thing I noticed on here that kind of feels like real cheap plastic is the props and these legs. They feel real cheap. The props, wow, these things are razor blade thin. And they feel kind of like cheesy, you know, that cheesy plastic feel. You know the feel I'm talking about, right? Okay. And then this is a little bit, you can hear that. And that is completely, this is completely hollow. You can hear, for the most part, that front fuselage there is, is hollow as hell. So, but I'm very surprised at the build quality for what I was expecting. I was expecting this thing to really feel super duper cheap, but no. So I'm just sliding it around to give you, because I got shooting this in 4K, so you'll be able to see up close. <clears throat> There's the optical flow positioning stuff there. And there's that little 249 gram label on the side. You see that, then you flip it over here, and you got your charge port and your uh, micro SD card slot right there. And then there's the battery door, which you just pop open like that and pull out the battery like so. I didn't even look at the size of the battery. Oh God, the, the writing is microscopic. I can't, even, I can't even read that, to be honest with you. But it gives it 30 minute flight time. I don't know, it's probably like a 2500. But this is not... Uh, uh, lipo batteries this is lithium ion and I think they use these lithium ions I think lithium ion batteries are actually a little bit lighter and I think that's uh, why they use them and they're not smart batteries either these won't discharge by themselves so you're gonna have to run these down to 50% if you charge them all and it works the same way you know it just unfolds like a Mavic Pro like that or a Mavic Air. It's the same story. You know, and then you bring you fold this one down and then bring that one in. Then there's the close up of the camera right there. You can get a bird's eye view of that up close. Very nice, very nice stuff. And then the controller, which oh God, I wish DJ I would do something about these. I found out, I'm going to open the controller up here for you. There it is. It's the same size as the Spark controller because the Spark phone holder, the Polar Pro, will fit all right on here. I'm going to show you that right now. Snapped right on there perfect. The only problem is I don't have a cable that will run from here to here. I tried using the one here from my Insta 361X and it would it would normally have worked except for that little ridge right there. And that won't go all the way into the connector. If it wasn't for that, I would be able to use it, but no dice. So I just got done ordering one off of Amazon for seven bucks that'll work out with this because I absolutely loathe putting my phone in here. I mean, I absolutely hate it. I think this thing is just so hokey, this design. 
and I already used it once. I already turned it on in the living room and did it, you know, put the thing over here and put the other doodad in here. It's just so hokey. The phone never sits in there right, and I don't know. It kind of just sucks. And then, of course, you got your place for your joysticks here, just like the Mavic Air built into the cradle there. And you just screw them on like that and like that. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take this off now since I don't, I'm not going to need it for a few days until that cable gets here. So there's the controller. It's a you know nice controller. It has the same feel as the other ones, the Mavic Air, Mavic Pro. You know the only difference with these, the Mavic Pro has the screen, but other than that, they have the same exact feel to it. You know, sticks feel a little firmer on this one, but that might break in after a while. You never know. So then it's got your regular buttons on here you know record video all that take off landing return to home power on and off nothing spectacular and then that's the charge port also right there so you got that and then here you got the charger because the fly more combo you get the uh, three batteries so you got a battery charger you can plop all three of them in there plug it into a usb and off you go to the races charging that and then in here you get I think there's two extra sets of props and then in here is the box that has all those cables you would need for all the different kinds of phones and the USB cables to hook up the charger and all of that stuff you know it's just a box of cables that you're going to need to to run the operation and then inside this box over here I'm just gonna bring the stuff over here for you is just the box here has the extra batteries in it let's see here they're in here so there's the other two batteries right there And then there's a box in here for the charger and then a box for the instructions and, and that kind of stuff. And there's the charger. Now I just want to say something about this charger. This charger is identical charger to the Spark. Okay, this has a um, USB but it puts out 3 amps, not like your normal you know these types of chargers where they'll the apple chargers where they'll put out one amp or two amps you know the two amp is for charging the tablet and the one amp is for charging the phone this will charge this puts out three amps on this one and the one for the spark and i actually use that one for my old lady's uh phone because it really it for some reason it seems to balance charge android phones the three amp it really works good on them And so that's it. But I do have a, an extra box in here. Right here. And these are the prop guards, which I am willing, because I'm such a nice guy. They're right in here. And I am willing to part with these for the unbelievably low price of $499. And it will be free shipping. So if you would like to buy those uh, prop guards off of me, $499.99 with free shipping and handling. Bargain of the century. Okay, so we'll, we'll go with that. So let me move this out of the way. Let's just turn it on real quick in here. As you see that there is the controller 
So typical, oh, let me shut that off real quick. Typical of DJI drones, you do not need to use the app. You can just take off without the app. Just by after you bind the, you get the controller and the quadcopter bound up. All you got to do is the old down and out, and it'll arm the motors. Now it won't do this the first, it like it, it won't do this out of the box. Okay, you have to turn on the quadcopter, turn on the controller, and activate it first and do the update, then it will let you do this. So uh, when I go out and fly it for the first time, I'm also going to do a little flight without the app or do a different flight without the app just to see if it's crib, if the range is crippled or anything like that. So we're going to go that route. But just to let you know that, that after you get it activated and everything, you do not need to use the application, the app. So... A lot of people don't know that, so now you do know it. All right, guys, there you go. Mavic Mini. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this thing, man. It, man, does it look nice. If it wasn't for that chintzy nits of them legs, but you know what? I'll get over it. I'll, sur I'll survive it, all right? All right, guys, you have a nice evening, man. I'll talk to you later.